Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for April for Taurus. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of April. This is being recorded in March. It may resonate now, but it really is for April. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not be for you. It may or may not be. We're just going to see whatever comes up. We're going to get overall energy here. And then we're going to use this deck. If you're looking for a private reading, I am booking out right now. It is March. What is today? March 14th. I'm booking out to April 10th. So if you want a reading, I'm about a month out. So just letting you all know. Um, here we go. What do we got for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? Dear God, angel, spirits, and universe. What do we got for Taurus in the month of April? Please show me. Please show me what we have for Taurus in the month of April. I would like to know. I really would. What do we got? Oh, new beginnings. Okay, Aries got this too. You may be dealing with an Aries, I don't know. But, you know, when you get a similar card up at the front, you know, maybe everybody's going to get this. I don't know. Or a few. But anyway, this is a fresh start. This is starting at zero, letting go of the past, not bringing the past with you. Stepping into unknown territory. So it looks like you guys are, you have a new beginning here. And we're going to find out more about this new beginning right now. We do have a new beginning starting completely, completely, completely over. Thank you, Lord. What do we got for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? Nine of Cups, reverse. This is, whew, luckily it's over here. It's lack of wish fulfillment. Wish is not being fulfilled, perhaps. Things have been a little upside down, maybe a little chaotic. chaotic. Maybe somebody has been overindulging, and, you know, there's a price to pay for that. Um, Ten of Cups, reversed. Oh, my God. With the six of coins reverse, somebody hasn't been getting what they re deserve. There's been a lack of receiving. Somebody has not been receiving the happiness that they deserve. Well, ain't that the truth? So, um, <laughs> oh, oh, wonderful! The Ace of Swords upright. This is a this is a new beginning. It's a new idea. It's a new. Um, It's a new idea is what it is. It's a new beginning. Truthful, honest. Seeing things clearly. So you guys have a new beginning of clarity, perhaps. Maybe maybe this is um, taking your power back. This is the sword of truth. Communication. So maybe some sort of communication is coming in. Nine of swords... This is anxiety. This is depression. This is uh, worry. You may be worried that your wishes aren't going to be fulfilled. That's what this is because you got to see what's mirroring, and they're both nines. Um, that's funny. You know, it's it, it is time to move on into your new beginning. It's time to take a risk, but you may be really fearful of, very fearful, worried, and anxious that this new beginning really isn't going to happen. You may be very fearful of that. Wow. Wow. But this is the end. Okay? It's the end of trouble. It's the end of the storm. It's like liberation. It's freedom. It's like... You can only go up. You can only go up from here. The worst is over. Nine 
Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's an offer of love. There is an offer of love. And you're beginning to realize that's your new idea. That's your new prospect. You are realizing that you have another opportunity for love. But that's what the Five of Cups is. Reversed. And you do. You probably do have an offer of love. But maybe you feel like you can't give to it or you can't accept it for some reason. Maybe you're you're really fearful of it. Yeah, yeah, two of wands. This is about being at that crossroads. This is making a choice. You can choose to head towards, um, you know, the path that you've always been down, or you can go down the path less traveled. You know, you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. You, if you, you, or you can even choose to let your worry and your fears get in the way. You have to make a decision, Taurus, whether you want to move forward or do you want to stay stuck where you're at. Do you want to keep, you know, letting your fears of the unknown stand in the way? I feel like, yes, you do have an opportunity for love. You do have an opportunity. It's, it's like there's a love offer here. There absolutely is. But you may be really thinking that you don't deserve it or you're not good enough. And let me just get the rest of the cards. Patience is needed. Patience is needed. So Taurus, it looks to me as though you are reluctant to move forward. You're reluctant to take action in the love arena. You're afraid to invest. You are. You're afraid to invest because... You know, you've been hurt. You've been hurt and left out in the cold. And now you have this new opportunity with somebody that is being honest and truthful with you. But you may feel like, you know, you don't trust them. Or, you know, that you're really not going to get what you want out of this. I feel as though you need, to, you need to be patient with yourself. You need to allow yourself all the time that you need. There's no hurry. There's really no hurry with this Knight of Wands and the Temperance card. You know, you are moving away from a stressful dis, uh, situation. You're moving to a better place. You just got to open your heart a little bit more. Um, it looks to me as though you do have an opportunity for a new relationship coming, but right now you're still lacking abundance with who you are. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like right now you you realize that you have a good opportunity for love. I can see that you do. But you probably feel like you're not good enough. And that is sad. But I feel like you are going through a transition right now. You're going through a transition. And therefore, I feel like you're not really moving very fast in this direction. You know, you are moving in the right direction with the Six of Swords. But it looks like you're not going very fast. You're not in the, you don't want to, you don't want to get yourself in any unrealistic situations. You want to make sure that, you know, you're choosing the right path. I feel like you're being called to have faith, have faith in this new beginning. This is communication, truthful, honest communication is coming through from somebody um, and you just may not trust. You may not trust them. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah. The high priestess reversed. You're 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 afraid of hidden agendas. I think right now you are working on yourself, and you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose track of that. You know, you don't want to um, get distracted from your mission whatever that mission is i feel like right now you you feel like you definitely don't trust i feel like you don't trust um yeah justice reverse that's the truth you don't trust you don't trust because you've been treated unfairly and you've been lied to so many times and you're really afraid of getting into a karmic situation again I, I really feel like uh, you're afraid that whoever you're dealing with, you know, do they have integrity? 
you know, and I really also feel like right now you're working on regaining balance of who you are. I think you're evolving. You're going through a spiritual transformation. And right now you probably feel like it's just not the right time. It's not the right thing. I have to, I'm still healing. I'm working on self-love. I'm going through a repression perhaps right now. Um... You may feel like, you know, there's unfinished business. There's something that's not final. Something isn't finalized where it needs to be. Maybe there's a relationship. I mean, the Ten of Cups reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. And then there's a relationship that has ended that um, has made you feel like you were abused or... Um, definitely treated unfairly I feel like you guys are going through some sort of repression and you feel like it's just not I can't give the love to you that you deserve because of some reason because I'm working on myself I'm, I'm following my own path I'm I'm wait going through some sort of awakening I feel like I mean this is you you this is you um listening to your inner guide and I feel like your inner guide is telling you that you need to go within right now it's a time of reflection it really is and this doesn't this is the her this is the hierophant not the hermit but it is it's a time of you believing in yourself and going your own way I feel as though you're seeking guidance and you're deepening your practice I feel like you are maybe uh becoming more religious in a certain way you're working on your religion or you're changing your religion something like that I feel like you're setting clear intentions I feel like there could be some possible legal matters with both of these cards in your life that you're dealing with and perhaps right now you're just not emotionally available for some reason I feel like You guys got a lot going on right now. Things may be a little chaotic in your life. You may be having some inner conflicts. Some, and this would make sense with the high priestess reversed right next to the hierophant. It's like there's conflict with, you know, the things that you are hearing and the things that you are believing and what you used to know and what you know now. There's a lot of conflict here. I feel like there's some competing forces within you and you may just feel like, you know, you're not ready, but this is saying have faith, and this is saying have faith, have faith, have faith, have faith in love, and I feel like you're conflicted about letting love into your life, because for one, I think some of you have been in a very, uh, where the Ten of Swords is, is a very deceptive, unjustified situation, and you just don't trust, you do not trust, and you know, now you've got this communication coming through from somebody that may want to start a relationship with you and you're just like that's what the Hierophant does they puts up their hand as a stop you know nine of coins I'm working on myself nine of coins reverse you may feel like you're not good enough damn it It's time to move on from that mentality that you have hang, hung on to. You are good enough. Maybe we need to like put that on our mirror or something. Um, whoever this person is that is coming or has come into your life, they they mirror you. Okay, they mirror you. They see your beauty. They. They, their eyes they don't their eyes are closed they, they realize that beauty comes from within you know they see your beautiful soul so um, not that they don't think that you're attractive um, this person is your perfect match okay so I feel like you do have a new beginning with somebody and you're gonna have to make a decision can you trust can you let go of your worries can you go down this new path? Can you open your heart? Can you truly move on? Can you allow this person to help you heal? Because this, this is love heals. I feel like you absolutely positively have to make a choice. And it's in regards to, you know, 
whether you want to be in a the hair font is about commitment whether you want to be in a new commitment whether you can trust whether you can let go of your own fears you know it is time to move on from that old mentality nine 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 it's time to move on it's time it's time to let go of the things that have held you back I feel like a lot of you just really feel like you're not worthy and, and you are you are whoever this person is that is giving you an offer they're honest they're truthful um, they are definitely attracted to you they feel it they feel the they feel the pull you look at the look at the uh, the vibration okay your vibrations um, match put it that way um, so yeah you ha you have a new opportunity for love here with somebody that you did not expect this is somebody that you absolutely positively did not expect and that is the truth okay um, this is not your usual type and now you have an opportunity for you know a commitment a union a partnership with somebody that you guys could heal together with love heals this is a healing partner endings bring new beginnings so you may you definitely have an ending up here i think that something whether this person has had an ending or you've had an ending or you both have had an ending this is a this is a new and endings bring new beginnings so i feel like through death we have new life <laughs> Okay, so we have a new beginning through through something that has ended. There's no joke. So this is a card of transformation. This one is too. You're going through a major life transformation right now. You're going through a rebirth and you have a new beginning here with somebody that you absolutely did not expect. And I think that both of you people are going through a period of healing and there's an opportunity to heal together to not do it alone if you are single you probably will not be single for much longer you're just gonna have to realize that you are worth it and you are good enough so <laughs> let go of those worries let go of those fears it's time to step into the unknown step into this new beginning you could be dealing with a Gemini a Scorpio a Taurus a Libra a Sagittarius, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't really matter. Everybody is here. Um, there is a new beginning here, and it could lead to an absolutely beautiful union. Beautiful. Where it's just... perfect it, it really is perfect it really 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 is but you're at the very 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 beginning this month so that means that you're at the very start okay so it takes time for it to grow so you know you may just be you know starting as starting and it leads to you know a deep 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 connection maybe by June maybe in six months from now, but this is at the very beginning of a true love connection. So that's that's what I have. Um, we are gonna get one of these. You know, I think we're gonna get one of these too, Taurus, for April. Be prepared for unexpected love to start. Unexpected love to start. That's what I see. Unexpected love connection. This has no ties to the past. To the ex is what I'm saying. It doesn't. This is not an ex. There's no ex in here. I don't see any exes here. Except for here. The one that has made you feel like you're not good enough. Now, there could be somebody that you have known before, and because this is unexpected. So there's, this could be somebody that you have known before coming into your life. And you didn't never think that this person was the one, 
or this person could even be a love connection and holy shit they are completely unexpected I think at night you know at night time you know that it's it's time you know that it's time to move on you you get these messages you receive these um, you receive the information that tells you it's time to accept the new and right now I feel like they, definitely this makes sense love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and that's why you're 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 conflicted because I think that you know you're trying to push back because you're working on self love right now. I see that. So let's get one of these. You have a new beginning here, but it starts with you. It starts with you. I think that somebody sees exactly who you are, and they want a new beginning with you, and that's what I see. This is going to be a deep, deep, deep connection. It is. Steady progress. That makes sense. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. This is a reward. You are receiving a reward for your the love that you have given out. Get ready. Because you have a new beginning in love that is like no other. It's like the storm is over. If you can just realize that you are worth it. Good luck. <laughs> 